probably a lot of people heard about CoQ10. It's akin to a vitamin. It's not a vitamin itself, but it's a powerful antioxidant. It's a coenzyme similar to a vitamin. But I think a lot of people have not been told or are aware that when you take statins to lower blood pressure, that it will lower the available CoQ10 in the body. And I know a lot of times uh, people take statins for cholesterol and things like that, and it's because they are in danger of a heart problem. Well, I do find this interesting, and I can't find a reference anymore, but I have read it in several references, that in Japan, typically, the medical community, if they're prescribing statins, they will prescribe CoQ10 supplements to take with the statins because, and I think it's by law, and I, I don't want to go by it, that's absolutely by fact, but I think they made it mandatory that uh, they have to take, they have to do, uh, prescribe CoQ10 supplement with the statins because statins lower the CoQ10 in the body and it's a very important compound for proper heart function. Sometimes they refer to as CoQ10 quote unquote as like the heart vitamin although there's many things that are needed for the body to function correctly um, now in the United States they don't do this they don't even tell anybody anything for the most part from what I've been getting feedback on I don't think people are aware of it and I don't know if I should be saying this or not but I mean it's just basic research it's been out there and the truth is known Coenzyme, Co uh, CoQ10 research has shown that cholesterol lowering drugs such as statins can actually decrease the body supply of CoQ10. Uh, they also inhibit the production of CoQ10 in the process. So it's, they become less available and the body doesn't produce its own CoQ10. So the problem with CoQ10 and statins is while these drugs, Lipitor or whatever, etc. can decrease cholesterol in the body, they also are depleting the important CoQ10 that your body needs especially the heart and uh, I don't you know I really don't know why they don't make it a law or a requirement like in Japan where they will tell their patients or prescribe to their patients CoQ10 must be taken with the statins now obviously it can't hurt to take the CoQ10 but you know it is a fact that CoQ10 helps protect the heart and you're taking statins because you have cholesterol because they say that could be a strain on your heart so you're thinning the blood out and lowering your cholesterol so I don't understand why they don't do this in the United States but that's how it's done in Japan uh, now CoQ10 is an in inexpensive supplement I mean you could see right here if you're getting you know, say you're getting a lighter dose of these 60 soft gels, 120 milligrams. Um, so that's 180 pills because you get buy one, you get two free. So 180 pills for $15. Say you're only taking one or two a day. I mean, I could that supply could last a half a year. Um, I want to mention something else because I think a lot of people are always interested in energy and. Um, vitality and also antioxidants the most powerful antioxidant practically in the world is uh, alpha lipoic acid or at least it's one of the strongest sometimes it's it's said that it is the strongest bar none and I you know I heard that claim on a few of them but it is definitely one of the strongest but it works synergistically together very well with this protein acetyl L carnitine and uh, this is actually another very good supplement. This place, Puritan.com, I don't sell for them or anything, but I've been, I was buying supplements for a long time, and I'm very careful about which ones I take. I don't like it taking too much of the botanicals once in a while. But this is basically just a natural, um, something that's essential for the body. But what it will do is actually enable the cells to process energy faster. Uh, and it will it could help bring your energy levels up by taking this supplement but I it came to mind because 
acetyl l carnitine and alpha lipoic acid work very well together but while they work together they deplete coenzyme 10 uh, coenzyme q q10 coq10 so it's a good idea to take all three of those together they work all together very well and it's something as people get older if they supplement this it kind of restores um, what the body had before because people younger in younger ages will be able to uh, produce more of this naturally on their own but if you supplement it it turn, turns out to be approximately the same effect as before but it is a very slick idea um, and I know there's a lot of people that are taking statins and I'm not a doctor but I you know this does kind of um, annoy me that many people aren't aware of the effects that statins have on the body's ability to produce CoQ10 and uh, how important CoQ10 is to the heart and in Japan uh, at least from where I, and I don't have the reference here but I think it's by law that they have to now prescribe um, CoQ10 supplements when they prescribe statins because statins are that detrimental to that this vital um, coenzyme 10 that it's need the body needs but I figured I'd mention one place that's economical to buy and I don't sell for these people it's puritan.com and there is something that does something else that's very good to take it's um, it's it's one of the most powerful uh, antioxidants in the world alpha lipoic acid and it works very well synergistically with acetyl l carnitine of protein so this is actually a very good supplement this is actually a very good price you can see these prices on a lot of these supplements uh, vary a lot I trust these people it's made in the United States it's tested in the United States they're not trying to get the lowest bidder uh, from some place and just put throwing a label on it this is one of the this is the biggest online supplement company in the United States um, but what this can do when you have this supplement acetyl l carnitine alpha lipoic acid combined with this coenzyme 10 it can help improve energy levels quite a bit and um, longevity too longevity uh, up to a point and I it's like anything nothing by itself works a hundred percent there's the body is so complex that it's really a host of many many different things and when you say too many different things people get too confused and they say to hell with it but I thought I was thinking about this from before and I this is something that kind of uh, aggravates me that um, it's not that well known in, in the United States that you really should be taking CoQ10 if you're taking that statins it should be supplementing with this CoQ10 and it's not a bad idea to supplement CoQ10 anyway um, but you know there's another thing too beyond that if uh, people have an interest in going a little further it is good to take this combination supplement also with CoQ10 and uh, it has a lot of benefits in many ways where uh, it can improve your energy levels quite a bit and this alpha lipoic acid is a very strong antioxidant which means anti-aging vitality and that type of thing um, so these are a couple other slick ideas I know I do a hell of a lot of these things and I can probably put too much out there that would be confusing but I consider these uh, this is another thing a few things that I think are very very important and I take every day